what's up my brothers and sisters it's your brother tactical today i'm going to take you on a little tour of bug out spot number one okay my friends we'll start you on the outside now this is one of the entrances we have two entrances because this is kind of a path to get to one of the other bug out spots but now this spot is probably about just over 25 years old we just started recently doing some walls and stuff though but we started this me and my brother bush back in geez like i said 25 years ago when we were kids maybe well probably longer than that probably like 30 years ago but just the roof now this used to have a roof with logs and we had it covered with like a foot of dirt but then after like 15 20 years it caved in so we never fixed it so we just started recently fixing it but so we just have them tarps over that just for now because that's some of the remnants of what was underneath the logs and stuff to keep it waterproof but now i'm not going to totally go all the way around because it's really hard walking through here so i'll just show you some different angles of the outside okay now here's the other entrance the entrance i showed you was like right over there we'll go on the inside and walk around and then you can Probably see it a little bit better, but a little fire ring. It's where we did a lot of those zombie vids. That's the door I just entered. Little perimeter wall. This thing ain't nothing like the other one. But we're just starting to work on it. This was like a little separate section when we have a tent or something. I'd put my tent there. And I got room in front to put stuff. the old hole trying not to shake sorry that's that other entrance and there's the underground spot now like I said that used to be all underground only this little spot right here had a little lean-to to come out and that was all like a flat roof with logs but it was just logs with some of that plastic and it lasted like I said lasted a long time but then it caved in so now we just recently re-dug it out and started cleaning it out just so we can use it. We haven't done the roof yet. So it's still a work in progress. But I'll take you on the inside. Your first little step. It's like a foot down. There's a rock underneath these pot needles. And then the, got these logs. They're actually going all the way back there. Split, we batoned them in half. Laid them flat. And then filled it in with dirt so it's a solid step. It goes down like another foot. This is like, well, when we had it before, it was like six feet. But now we just got this tarp just sitting there for now, trying to retain some heat until we actually do it. But 55 gallon drum. This thing is freaking ancient, man. It's like older than this, this spot is. So it's like 30, 35 years old. It's ancient. We just cut that hole in it, let the heat come out. And oh my God, the heat is so intense right there. We're actually thinking about taking away some of this dirt and opening it up a little bit more just to kick some heat more straight out. That rock there to step on and them logs. I said there's a little rock right there too and then to get out. A little stash of wood right there. When it was in its prime, it was six feet deep. Now, well, with the tarp here, it's not very deep. It's like four and a half feet. I can't even stand up straight right now. But we're working on it. We had to redig it out. It all caved in. There was old logs. It was like a twisted mess. So it was really hard. So this spot is only like six by five. It's pretty small. But like I said, we did this when we were freaking kids. Back out. Sorry if I'm getting dizzy. Just give you an outside shot, but I've got that piece of tin there just to help deflect some of the hot air to keep it away from this. We're gonna do a log roof again, then cover it with kind of like the lean-to cover it with pine needles and sticks. And I'd like to do, if I could, I'd like to get another 55-gallon drum and or two of them replace that one do a new one and then crimp that top 
and slide another one over it just to come out of the ground like that much and then put rocks around it and sand and then camouflage just so it's safe well thanks for stopping by guys it's always good to see everybody hope everybody's doing well out there and until the next time we meet